and former New Mexico Governor Gary Johnson. Governor Johnson, same question to you about the Tenth Amendment. With this added, you are an outspoken libertarian. What makes you a better choice for libertarian Republicans than Congressman Paul? Uh, I'm not going to presume to make that assumption, but I would like to say that I do bring a unique perspective to this stage. I started a one-man handyman business in Albuquerque in 1974 and grew it to over a thousand employees. I have run for two political offices in my life, Governor of New Mexico and re-election. I promised to submit a balanced budget to Congress in the year 2013. I promise to veto legislation where expenditures exceed revenue. And if anybody doubts my uh, willingness to veto bills, I think I vetoed more bills than any governor in the history of the United States. I think I vetoed more bills than all the other governors in the country combined. Add to that throwing out the entire federal tax system and replacing it with a consumption tax, the fair tax, which would absolutely reboot the American economy because it does away with the corporate tax to create tens of millions of jobs in this country. I've taught in both public and private schools and now as a substitute teacher. I see administrators more focused on satisfying federal mandates, retaining funding, trying not to get sued, while the teachers are jumping through hoops trying to serve up a one-size-fits-all education for their students. What, as president, would you seriously do about what I consider a massive overreach of big government into the classroom? Thank you. That topic is for all candidates, and to get everyone to weigh in, 30 seconds each, please. Governor Johnson. Uh, I'm promising to submit a balanced budget to Congress in the year 2013. That's a 43 percent reduction in federal spending. I am going to promise to advocate the abolishment of the Federal Department of Education. The Federal Department of Education gives each state 11 cents out of every dollar that every state spends, but it comes with 16 cents worth of strings attached. So what America does not understand is that it's a negative to take federal money, give it to 50 laboratories of innovation, the states to improve on, and that's what we'll see, dramatic improvement. Governor Johnson, here in Florida, charter flights from Fort Lauderdale to Havana, Cuba have resumed. Is there a problem with that? And what are your thoughts on U.S.-Cuba policy? Uh, I think the biggest threat to our national security is the fact that we're bankrupt. So I am promising to submit a balanced budget to Congress in the year 2013, and included in that is a 43 percent reduction in military spending. I think it's crazy uh, that we have foreign aid to, company, uh, to countries when we're borrowing 43 cents out of every dollar to do that. Military alliances. Uh, military alliances are really key to other countries taking up the slack. With regard to Q flights to Cuba, uh, you know, I'm, I'm uh, in favor, I think, of the whole notion that trade uh, promotes uh, friendship as opposed to not. So I would be inclined to looking at establishing or supporting those kinds of flights. What I'm asking for is how are you going to turn this country around? We'll go down the row, 30 seconds each. Governor Johnson. My uh, next door neighbor's two dogs have created more shovel-ready jobs than this current administration. the federal budget now, not 15 years from now, not 20 years from now, but now, and throw out the entire federal tax system, replace it with a fair tax, a consumption tax that by all measurements is just that. It's fair. It does away with corporate income tax. If that doesn't create tens of millions of jobs in this country, I don't know what does. 
Again, if you had to choose a running mate, one of the people on the stage with you, who would you choose and why? 30 seconds down the row. <laughs> Governor Johnson. I'm sorry. Well, that would be the guy three down, uh, um, Congressman Paul. And that would be the... That would be the notion that this country is about liberty and freedom, and that right now we are facing an extraordinary crisis, that if we do not address it now, we're going to find ourselves in a monetary crisis that is going to leave us all with nothing. And if we want to look at an example of that, that would be Russia that experienced a monetary collapse that in our lifetimes may never require. We need to avoid that now.